Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. We have some visitors coming to the homestead today and we are so excited. Well, I'm standing here just looking down the road, just waiting for them to show up. It is Daniel and Rua Walker. They also have a YouTube channel called Copperhead Road Homestead. And they've been wanting to come out here to the farm to take a tour for a while. And so I think it's a great, great time to take you for a tour as well. When they get here and we tour, I'm going to just show you with them and we can take a look. It's been a good while since I have shown you around the property. Now we've done uh, recently hay, planting corn, and this and that. Obviously we also like to skin a turtle every once in a while, but uh, just to show y'all around the farm, see what we got. Let's welcome these fine folks when they get here. Here they come, here they come. somebody who i don't know we're, just, we're lost i can tell you're lost <laughs> well, we're in kentucky still aren't we i don't think so <laughs> uh, we're all volunteers here <laughs> that's me i just I, volunteer i recognized your cows yeah uh, i said that those are his cows those there. are definitely his cows yeah no doubt <laughs> all right well we'll come on up here and we'll all right take a look around which way do i go there is only two ways. There is a right and there is a wrong. There is good and there is evil. There is heaven, there is hell. Choose life, brother and sister. <laughs> well, get out and we'll show you around. I'm glad good you- to see you, man. Glad to have you. Been up trying to get some vittles is put it, together. So is it 1230 here? Uh, no, it's 1130. 1130. Okay, so we're the same. Oh yeah. I thought you said we were in a different time zone. Uh, are you central? Yeah. Okay, we're good then. Uh, Don't forget, election Mr. time's President. coming. <laughs> Don't forget, uh, we just, Maggie. All right. appreciate your vote. You just write it in? Just write it in, what, yeah. What party are you? Uh, homestead party. <laughs> <laughs> the homesteaders take over That's the kind America. of party I like. <laughs> yep, we're definitely the homestead party. <laughs> well, you hadn't actually met my wife in person. This oh. is Rua, you know. You, I know you met yeah. on, on Good to internet, meet you. But. Yeah. Actually, I feel like I've already met you, I guess. You, you probably do, and I feel the same. <laughs> uh, now your bride we haven't met, though. Yep, she's in there probably <laughs> stirring up some taters or something. Come here, boys. Y'all remember this man, don't you? <laughs> hey, David, right? Joe. 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 And you are Matt? Yep. All right, good. Come here, Caleb. And Caleb. Hey, man. Good to see you. How old are you guys? 15. 15? 10? 10. 5. 5. Oh, man. Old David's around here somewhere. He's. They've been cleaning up, you know, all the excitement that goes along with having company. Oh, yeah. I, I totally get it. Well, before we go on our tour of the homestead, we're going to eat, if you don't mind. We're just going to take a little bite now. This right here is the black bull, and I'm gonna leave a link in the description for how to get a brisket off of a bull if you uh, butcher your own bull. Brisket is so expensive right now, it's unbelievable. So you can make it for free if you just put it out on grass. <laughs> but anyway, we're going- Before you kill it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't you put it out on grass after you do No, that. that's kind of the counterproductive. <laughs> yeah, you don't, don't do that. Uh, so anyway, we're going to eat a bite, and then we'll get out on and look around at the place. Fire in there. Open that up and see if there's a fire in there. This is but a how, little bit. But how would you preset it, though? So this is, is a thermometer? Preset it? Yeah, 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 like what if you, like, for the <laughs> oven. Like, how, like if I wanted to you make pre it, pre you, like, preheat it. You don't preheat it. You build a fire. You just build a fire? You build a fire. Yeah, and then, then you watch you, as it goes up. But how do you make sure it doesn't get too hot? This here... You got uh, this here, if you want it hot, you know, give it a lot of air. You okay. got this right here. And, uh, yeah, um, you sort of learn that exact solid. numbers don't matter. <laughs> if it says in the book, cook it at 350, then you can cook it at 400 too. <laughs> Are these sunflowers? Or Jerusalem artichokes? Jerusalem artichokes. Are they? Wow. Are they? Cool. And we never do anything. I mean, you can plow it up with a turning plow and they still come back. So here's a few sunflowers. These are hey, the giant ones. I would assume they probably are. Um, different colors are like, look more like a, um, kind of brown. Uh -huh. and, some, and then some are like red. One day, I'll be as good as Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Those are onions. Those are onions. Oh. They are onions. Oh, I basically got onions. Yeah. They're, 
Swiss oh, wow. chard. Really? And, uh, Swiss yeah, chard. Swiss chard. You took that a lot. I mean, yeah. she's been, you've been picking right off of this and it just keeps coming back. They're different kinds. Yeah. Okay. Well, you got a lot. This is all, you're going to can a lot of this, I guess? Uh, yeah. 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 Tomatoes, yeah. yeah. And this plastic is what we laid last year. I've never had it last two years like this. These are the super hot peppers here. These are hot ones. Yeah. The hottest, like the world's hottest. Like a ghost chili or a ghost pepper? Uh, some ghost peppers over here. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Yeah. Micah eats those for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's right. Midnight snacks. Oh, man. He <laughs> breathes fire, baby. <laughs> Out both ends. <laughs> Is that, that a fruit tree like that? Yeah, that's a pear tree. Pear? You get a lot of pears off of it? How old is that? Did you plant that or was that Yes, that was a wedding gift, so it's 18 years old. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> oh. yeah, there's a few pears on it. This uh, tree makes pears so sweet that they will, the coons will leave the sweet corn alone and oh, eat right. the pears off it. So tree. do you know what variety it is? Uh, I used to. <laughs> I've got Moon Glow. Ayers, is that what this is? and Kiefer. My wife says this is Moon Glow. Moon Glow. Yep, and yeah. they are so sweet. You oh, really? Believe. Yeah, I don't know. We've got a few chicks around right now. Do we have any mamas sitting on eggs right now? Mm -hmm. Not right now. So we, have, we have five about that size of that chicken. Uh -huh. They don't have time to eat chicken around here because they're too busy eating skunk. That's right. <laughs> and brisket. I named the brisket Francis. <laughs> they didn't have their cow named or their bull named, so... I had to name him. He don't get upset anymore because <laughs> he's brisket. What are you doing up there, boy? Huh? He's him a shady this isn't salt. what you salted. This, uh, no, this is not the salted hay. This is just what we covered up. Yeah. The, the salted hay is way up there. In yeah, that it's, got, it's got some water it's in it. It's getting some rain right now. Oh, yeah, but if you look you just pull that up. Yeah, I know. So all of our bales of hay, uh, we just you know leave out, and it just gets a little yeah. bit just on the outside. And, yeah. and they get through that and get the good stuff in there. And yeah. You know, it just that's like you said in your video, it just repels it. Yeah, there's the hay now. It's, it's this here settled a lot, but that up there got packed and it's not settling real much. Oh, yeah. it's, it's really thinning. I think that was about four big trailer loads. Oh, yeah, that was a lot. Every bit of this short grass and stuff you see here would just be dug if I hadn't sowed it. Did you sow it before the uh, you moved the pigs, or uh... no, I sowed it the day I moved them out. Yeah, just as soon as I caught them up, I uh, got out there and sowed it, and of course, the ground was all rough and it rained a lot right away and it just seeded right in i never disked it never did i never touched it again just grass seed yep grass and uh, rice rice hmm. and you see corn coming up where the pigs missed a <laughs> yeah, kernel it. or two that's that's the mike mcgee corn <laughs> it sure is <laughs> we're hoping to uh move her over here before she has piglets again that way she can access the barn right yeah to, uh, she bred and everything well don't know if she's bred or everything, but uh, she's at least with the boar, so I'd say the odds are she's definitely bred. That's neat you got cameramen that follow you around. No matter what you do, they just follow you around. You better get on him, son. What are you doing? I was just testing the cameraman's ability, you know, following you around. That's pretty neat. I'm always doing my own filming. I'm never, I don't ever have anybody filming for me. I've got a tripod that I use. Yeah. <laughs> It's true, you do, you, do you ever call them tripod? <laughs> I know. That'd be a good one, though. Hey, tripod. Tripod and bipod. <laughs> and this is your chicken house here? Yep. Yep, we got chickens in here. Are you going to do something with this tree? I'm going to have to eventually, but I'm trying to wait. <laughs> wait until maybe this is empty. Once, if this, once this water is empty, I'll move it, try to get this down. But for right now, we're just going to... I really like the shake on there. Yeah, I do. I tore those off of a roof one time uh, at least 15 years ago. A house. Yeah. And of course they wanted me to roof it with metal roofing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Tripod and bipod. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the super hot peppers here. There's, I don't know, five or six different varieties, but uh, we made a video not long ago called, uh, I think it was laying plastic with the Hillbilly Deluxe plastic layer. <laughs> but uh, it's, uh, it's right here in the cornfield. What happened uh, to the top of these? It looks like something bit them off. Yeah, something did bite them off. Was that your oldest boy? Or <laughs> See, uh, these <laughs> holes right here, we had a deer walk down through here and uh, bit nearly every one of them off. And some of them he just completely pulled out. So, that stinker? Yeah. 
So I think you should have you some deer supper this I think uh, we should too, but he's he's not willing to stand up and uh, <laughs> take responsibility. He fled the coop, so who knows which they, deer it they was. They take your gun? They took Elmer Fudd's gun. Yeah, no, they didn't take my gun. They just hid. They just ran off. And... <laughs> they look good, though. Yeah, I think they'll come back and you, do fine. You don't, you don't irrigate or anything? No. The plastic actually holds the moisture in. Yeah. Of course, all the deer have friends to let the moisture out, but... <laughs> Coming out. Oh wow. <laughs> hey buddy, how are you? How are you? Don't let him take off your face. I won't. <laughs> he don't eat me. I did a whole video on that. <laughs> the weird eating habits of Mingle Eats of Pigs. Yeah. Alright, we're saying by the Copperhead Road homestead. Yeah. We had an awesome time with him. It was great. We're trying to leave. Will you let us leave already? <laughs> we just don't leave mad. Just leave. <laughs> I am so angry. You only gave a roll to Rua and not one to me. Oh, well, I'll tell don't you. Don't you know when you ask for a roll, it means two? That's right, two. Come on. Everybody knows that. <laughs> With some autumn olive jam? Yeah. Come on. I'm eating it now. Get All right. She's shoving her gob with it as well as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been great. We had an awesome time with Copperhead Road. You need to look at his channel. We've yeah. got actually the link to his channel in the descriptions. Do and you? The, yeah. You got it? I've, I've already got that. That's a good place for it. It is a good place Put for it. Put it in your description as well. <laughs> so, anyway, if you want to see what some of this craziness was all about, you're going to have to watch his version of this video because. Yeah. They tell two different stories. <laughs> You'll see the truth. The truth is out there. It is. Okay. Can we go now? All right. <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys. Yeah, you... appreciate you guys. Make sure you keep on watching this guy's channel. Really great guy. All right, Daniel. See you. Yes, we'll, sir. We'll see you on the next video. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>